Okay, here's part two of the um, MSP430 Launchpad uh, servo motor driver. It's actually an analog to digital converter uh, driving servo motors, but the servo motors this time we have six of them. Um, and uh, we could actually, you know, fairly easily drive 25 of them if we actually had enough pins. On other MSP430 chips, there are more pins. Um, but the way it works is the watchdog timer fires every half millisecond um, and you need a 20 millisecond um, pulse in pulse width modulation for a servo um, and then that is actually of course 40 discrete pulses because they're half a millisecond each and then the actual um, servo pulse which you can see over here on the oscilloscope has to be between one and two milliseconds so you can see if you divide 40 by two maximum you get um, 20. Um, so that's how you can get 20. But you can actually interlace those uh, much more. And also there's lots of time in between there for the analog to digital conversion. In fact, I did a rough calculation. I think that the CPU is off 92% of the time, if I'm not mistaken. But anyway, um, this servo bank basically gets plugged into this board. This is a, a little five and 3.3 .3 volt converter from Tautic, which I really like, except that LED is too bright. <laughs> uh, and then um, the signal goes into each one of the pins of the MSP430 chip. And the reason I don't have it running right now is um, it gets fairly hot fairly quickly because that's driving a lot of servos. But I will plug it in briefly and you'll see um, all these will run um, just ran or not randomly, but in order. But and then this last one will go based on if I put my hand in front of this light sensor here. Okay, so let me plug this in. All right, and as you can see, those ones are firing. And um, this one down here, you can see if I put my hand in and out, it goes up and down. All right, and those are all running independently, obviously. All right, till next time.